back it up. I know, I'm very sad. Mm. Planning it out. Yep, getting the last little bits done, making sure we leave a clean room. Last Aww. moments. Almost the final packing. So one shoe does not fit. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on the side or something. Yeah, oh yeah, you can make that fit. Somehow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to video right now. So this is oh. it. They leave in a couple of hours. We part ways. Oh. Will it fit? Yes, it will. And finally. As if it doesn't get clean? Well, now we have guests, that's for sure. Now we have guests. After one final breakfast with the med crew, we gathered at the dock so Keith and I could say goodbye. Oh, Thank you for the good times, Keith. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, oh, can't say bye to you. This is it, Keith. Can't do it. I don't think I can do it. I think I'll oh, simply yeah. blow my eyes out. Oh. <laughs> After final hugs for me and Keith, the kids helped him carry their bags to the subway station, and they said their goodbyes there. So, I said I should have looked up where we're going before we got into uh, the subway because I have no service. But you know that's what we do. That's how the med crew does it. Oh, but oh, is that, is that Larcy? Basically, we're going to Larcy Station. Yeah, Laris. Laris. Yeah. Okay, we have to go to Canada. Right now, this whole trip, we are the Keith planning everything, and these are our children. The rest. It's true, actually. I think it was great. I would totally do it again with them. And now we are alone again. Oh hey, we're not alone. We still got each other. <laughs> Such. Okay. Back to the boat. We okay. must clean Back up. Back to the boat. We must clean up a little bit and then we'll see up. what happens next. Let's go. We'll see you guys out there on, on the, the water. water. That was sad. So we got to go get our passports. That today's Tuesday. They are going to open up for us to pick them up. And the kids are going to the train station to get on a ferry and leave. Not our kids, just the med crew. So this is it, the end. The start of our next journey on the boat to Italy. American Embassy. Yeah, Gabriella just wrote us a letter. We're in the taxi, they just left. Just reading this letter. You can't get through it. This crew was a great crew. It was a great crew. Not once did I get annoyed with any of them, nor did they make, you know, not, not any more annoyed I got with, than I would get with my own kids. Yeah. And that, that says a lot about the character and integrity of these kids. I agree. I've had a few of the best moments of my life, and I'll forever, and I'll be forever grateful to you. I know I'm loud and annoying sometimes, <laughs> but I'm not going to apologize for that. I'll just say thank you for having patience with my loudness sometimes. <laughs> I've definitely learned quite a lot. I've learned that I love the ocean even more than I thought and that free diving is much better than I could have imagined. Thank you for showing me the way you live, not only the boat life, but the love you share for each other. Hey, you're age cute. <laughs> the boat's gonna be quiet now. success we get the passports so now we just need to go check out of Greece and uh, check out of the marina and get out of here it's 7 a.m. and in order to get checked out of Greece we've got to take two taxis 
to the other side of town to the port before all the cruise ships get in and we have to wait in line for hours. So Keith got us up early. So that was six weeks in the Schengen zone, six weeks in Greece. And, but now our, our 90 day Schengen clock has stopped. So as long as we don't go on land and anywhere else, um, maybe we'll make it to Spain. And I think we'll have to get checked in there because we plan on going on a road trip. And we talked about doing a digital nomad visa, but we haven't looked into any of that yet because we haven't needed to. So, yeah. In order to sail a more direct route to Italy without going all the way around the south of Greece, we cut through the Corinth Canal, a four-mile channel that connects the Aegean Sea with the Ionian Sea. And yep, we've done it once before, shortly after buying the boat in Greece about six years ago. I'm glad I paid yesterday Yeah. online. That way the kids don't have to get up in the morning and we can just get on through here. Yeah, how much did it cost to go to this? So it's basically $500 for a boat. Okay. The canal has no locks and is only 80 feet wide, which makes it impassable for most large ships. It's used now for smaller yachts, cruises, and as a tourist attraction. It only took us about 30 minutes to get all the way through it. We just finished a Blue Water Cruising live workshop. It's 12.30. It started at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is 10 for us, and so it's late. But we are headed off right now to cross the Ionian Sea and the Strait of Messina and go into Italy. It's gonna be three days, nonstop, on the water. We're doing that because the kids want to make it to- uh, Switzerland. Switzerland, just in a few days, where the med crew is, spending the last few days adventuring Europe, and so. We're gonna go. It's because we're non -stop. cool and we enjoy being with people our age and we want to get away from these old people. They're old, they're from like the 70s or something. They're weird. You also have a lot of energy for midnight. We just drunk monsters. 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 Are you ready for a long shift? Who's I'm on shift put first? Up put up the main. Film that. Put up the main. I am. Film it. Come I'm, on. I am. Grandma. Maybe you need your, maybe you need your glasses. Grandma, so you do her job. Shut your mouth. Film. My light's not right enough. Oh, yeah, use oh, those there muscles. Man, oh, now it's flashing. You muscles. do so many push ups, surely you can do that. Here we go. I'm exhausted. Can I tie it on up there, Finn? Ocean passaging? Yep. Yeah, Ocean like passaging? Ocean passaging. A little more. I'm holding on. I'm going to get Madeline a bouquet of flowers, and I'm just going to be sitting on the couch when they walk in after whatever they were doing. Oh I'm saying, how sweet is Hey! That? Surprise! She walks in with some dude. I, oh my gosh. <laughs> we're actually going to be sailing, it sounds like. Yeehaw! We make sure to put the safety lines up too, baby, when you get done with that. Yes. Thank you. Here, I'll get the other ones. Our grease flag is tattered and torn. People were disrespecting on us for um, having it. It's a... fixing to come down. We're gonna put an Italy flag up. You're the captain. Oh. Okay, who has shift first? I have night shift. It is currently 12.38. So I have two and a half hours left of night shift. I drunk a monster, so I'm ready to power <laughs> through, you know, I'm gonna. Jack, you gonna sleep? 
I no. Think so. Yes. I Did you I'm drink a monster too? No. I didn't. We are monsters, actually. Uh oh. We better secure everything here. This is not ready to go. So Starling really doesn't work out in the middle here. The no, it does not. Okay, latch everything. Sail ready. That's done. Huh. Oh. I'm a little short. Okay, the camera woman is going to bed. I will see you in the morning when the sun comes up. I'll be on shift in the morning, probably at uh, nine o'clock. Jack's shift is three to six, Keith is six to nine, and then we just start over. I do a nice long shift in the morning to help out. Good night. I've just been told we are taking on water. Not the end of the world. I was <laughs> watching the village go off earlier today. I was looking under the boat and I saw it go off, and I was like, what is that? Yeah. I was like, oh, it's probably nothing. The light goes off up here, and I look in the engine hatch, and there's a lot of water oh, no. down there. And I'm like, we must be taking up water. Yeah. And now we find that it's going to be generated. down the building. Oh, Get in the generator. Uh, there's a hose or something broke. Uh, did y'all shut the generator off? Yeah, yeah, it's off. I shut it off. A hose broke in the generator and it started to fill up with water. Oh snap! Yeah. That's no bueno. Yeah. From the uh, generator or the motor? Yeah, from the generator. I, I don't, I don't know all the details. Yeah, that's not good. I love how problems arise just as we're leaving when right? it gets really rough. I, I think it's perfect because it just ups the stress just a little bit. Or just a little bit. We waited till midnight to leave. Thought everything would be okay. and Well, we had to wait till midnight. Yeah. yeah. Well, we could have spent the night and got out in the morning. But no. But y'all want to get to Italy. Okay, we're going to do a train. Okay. To out here? To out here? The water sensor that shows there's uh, no water flow going uh, broke apart and uh, it's easy enough to bypass. I just got to put a uh, plug in there. I'm not going to do it tonight. Yeah, you can do it on passage? Or? I can do it on passage, yeah, if I need that generator. That's okay. why you got two generators. Yes, you're so cool. Okay, assuming that nothing else goes wrong, I am now going to bed. Good night. Uh, good morning. I decided to take Keith 6 to 9 a.m. shift because he was up a lot last night. The good thing is they got the sails up and we're sailing. We're making nine knots right now. The wind is 17 knots and so uh, it was a beautiful sunrise. We've got about uh, 19 hours, 20 hours till we get to the Straits of Messina but I think we're just gonna keep on going and go to either Sol Salermo, Salerno or Naples. So the first day of passage is always kind of tough, kind of feeling a little woozy. It's kind of rolly right now, so it's, it's kind of tough. The second day's better. By the third day, you're, all, you're finally into the group. But the thing is, it's only gonna take us three days to get where we're going. So by the time we uh, get in the group, we'll be there. But uh, anyway, it's a great day. And it should calm down in another hour. So there's a water pressure sensor that tells the generator that raw water is going through the system so that it if, it if there's no pressure on it it'll shut off that means it's not cooling anyway this thing corroded and it broke in two pieces other pieces down there i don't have the sensor piece i'll have to get it when i get to italy hmm. so 
So what I'm going to do to work around that is I just need to find something to plug the hole. And I might have found something to plug that hole. It's fine thread, pipe thread, brass pipe thread. And we'll see if I can get her done. The house is quiet. It's not really right now, but it is much quieter than when the med crew is here. Isn't it? Do you miss them? I miss them. I do too. So, this is the old piece, half of the old piece. Here, I'll zoom in on it. And I need to plug it. I need to plug that where this screws into the engine. I need to plug that. And I don't have a plug that size. So what I'm going to do is I have a tap and die set. And I have this little bitty screw. I'm going to tap this inside here where it'll, I'll make threads inside of here. Then I'll put some pipe dope on this and I'll screw this into this end. All the way in. And then I'll screw this back into the engine and I should have it sealed off. on a video. Yeah. You gonna have one go out Sunday again? I might. We'll see. All right, so this is the piece I just fixed. Okay. This came apart and water came flying out of here, filling everything up. And so I'm just screwing this piece in. I put the nut, I put the screw in the front of it. I'm gonna tighten it down and hopefully that seals it off. This gotta have pressure on it, so I'll have to figure out a way to keep pressure on this so the engine will stay running. Let's see what we get done here. the wind has died a little bit ladies and gentlemen and it is time for a sail change all right guys from a one to ten i want you guys to rate my jorts what do you think one ben, quit showing off your clothes why do you have a sweater on that's what i said it's freaking hot you guys like are not adjusted to the temperature all right, the wind shifted a bit. It's coming off of our starboard beam now. And so we're putting the asymmetrical out. Or what are we putting out? The screecher? The screecher. Putting the screecher out. Look at that pro furl furl working like a charm. Don't need all those. There you go. All right, here you go. We going faster? Hey, why you put that down? Seven. Seven knots. Good deal.
Alrighty guys, so the wind angle has changed completely, so the sail is not going to work right now. We tried, and we failed. We made a few miles extra speed, but... What are we going to do? General back up? What are we going to do? Back out? No, we're going to put anything back out. Yeah, we're going to take the main down. Actually, there's not a lot of wind anymore either. Oh, so, so motor's coming on. We love burning fossil fuels, don't we? Air conditioning in my bedroom. Let her go. Yeah. Let her go. Sail for like a whole day. Turn into the wind. Drop the main. Turn back on course. Feels like when you're 15 days out at sea, it's just like this. Yeah. We're a day away could from. Be, yeah, uh, it could be two weeks away. Yeah, feels all the same. Yeah. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun, and I say it's alright. Almost to Italy, 60, 60, 78 miles to the coast, and uh, yeah, yeah, we got another 24 hours, we got another 36 hours, but no, 48 hours, we'll get there uh, Wednesday, where we're going to Salerno. time zone going from Greece to Italy so we gained an hour I took a nice hot shower because we have hot water anytime we run the engine it heats up the water heater so we always take advantage of hot water and uh, anyway gonna call it a night again and we'll see you in the morning Good morning, we just passed through the Messina Strait, which connects the boot of Italy to Sicily. And uh, so we're we're continuing on. We have about, how long do we have till we get to Salerno? 25 hours. 25 hours. All right, Keith, so biggest question is why did we skip the Adriatic Sea in Croatia and all the beautiful part of the world? Uh, we're kind of touristed out. We, we seen enough charter boats to last a, life, last a lifetime. We were kind of wore down on charter boats and packed anchorages and lots of people all over the place and no no sea life. I mean, I, I love sea life. I love the water being alive with sea life. And it just, uh, the Mediterranean is a great place to come if you're a foodie and a whiny and you like his historical rocks and, and stuff like that. It's, it's neat for that, but we're not whinies nor are we foodies and uh, we've seen a lot of rock piles. So we are we're ready to get we're ready to get to the Canaries, we're ready to get farther west, get back into our our, our type, what's our vibe, and uh, get out of here. Yeah and there's only so much time in our lives you can't see everything. You can't see everything and, and, and I'm sure it's beautiful and I, I you know I, I wanted to see Croatia but uh, it's just uh, once again, it's uh, it's a thousand yachts, a thousand charter boats, and and packed anchorages, expensive, everything expensive, expensive, and yeah. uh, it's just not our jam. I mean, it's uh, yeah. you know we've uh, we're kind of a laid back. We're looking forward to Costa Rica and Mexico. That's what we're yeah, looking forward cool. to. That's our jam.
Over the next 12 hours, the wind completely took a vacation and it got really hot, so we put up the shade and motored the next 70 miles, all the way into the beautiful port of Salerno, arriving at 10 o'clock in the morning. in Salerno, Italy, and that's how we do that. Tune in next week for Let It Float Away video. Let it float away. <laughs> I don't know what you want to Tune say. Tune in next week for something. We don't know what. It's Tune in be. next week for something. It could be just me and Mama on the boat for a week. We don't know. Oh. I got a few. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.